Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. In this video, we will look at how to add a hyperlink to your user form in Excel VBA. Now, if you've had a go at this already, you will have noticed that there is not a hyperlink option as a control in your toolbox. So we cannot insert hyperlink like we would on a spreadsheet where we have your insert hyperlink button. So we're going to have to be a little bit cute with this and we're going to need to insert a label and then we're going to format it to appear like a hyperlink and then create a hyperlink action using its click event. So let's begin by inserting the label. I'll click on the label button and just click and drag to draw it into position. I'm not worrying about being too accurate right now. And then I'll move to the properties window in the bottom left hand corner here. If you do not see the properties window, you can click on view and properties window to bring it in. And the first property we're going to change is the caption. The caption is what the user will see. And I am going to use an email address because in my example here, I want to create a hyperlink so somebody can click it to send an email to this department. Now it doesn't matter really what text you type, it does not affect the functionality of the hyperlink, this is just what people are going to see and what they're going to click on. So you can type any text that you need. And although I'm using a email hyperlink example, you can obviously create hyperlinks for web pages, you know, files in your directories, whatever you need to. Now the next step is to make it look like a hyperlink. So I'm going to use the font property and I'm going to go for a Courier New font. So it looks hyperlink-ish <laughs> and underline it, which is definitely a classic hyperlink look and feel. So people when they see it can kind of assume it's clickable. My next step is to make it blue like your traditional hyperlinks are as well. I can use the four color option for that, which is your font color. And I'm going to use their palette to choose a blue similar to a hyperlink. And here we have it. So now it looks like a hyperlink, but it does not function like one. Let's sort that out. We will double click on the caption, uh, sorry, the label, to open up a module window and to open up the click event of that label, which I haven't named as yet, so it's label two. But you can see the naming option up there, probably not a bad idea to name it appropriately if you've got a lot of stuff going on in your form. Now we need to type in what we need to do. And we're going to use the active workbook object. And then the important bit, we're going to use the follow hyperlink method. So you see it come up as a method here, follow hyperlink. We have some properties for it. You see there's quite a few, what is that? Six, seven, seven different parameters or arguments. The only one we have to provide is the address, which we provide as a string. So I'm going to type address, the name of the argument, colon equals, as you do with arguments. And then in double quotes to denote a string, I will type what I want the hyperlink to do. And because I want it to do an email, I'm going to type the email address uh, preceded by now to. But in here, you would just type the web page address, the URL, uh, or, the, or the path of the network, whatever it is that you're trying to link to. Now after that, I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to use the new window argument as well. And I'm going to set the new window argument to true. So that one's not uh, mandatory. I don't have to provide that one. It's an optional argument, as is the sub address, uh, the ability to add history, extra info, all of that stuff. But I'm going to provide it. And the other thing I'm going to do is the line unload me. I'm putting that in so that when, in my scenario, when people click that, I'm going to automatically close the form as well. 
Now, whether you want to do that or not is, is another story. It all depends what your hyperlink does. But I just wanted to demonstrate it uh, within here as an extra line of code. But all of the, the, the power really of ours here is coming through the follow hyperlink method. That's the important step. Okay, let me pop back to my form and to demonstrate it in action, I will use the run sub user form button so we can see it on screen. And now at any point, somebody can click the hyperlink and it will perform its necessary action, which in my scenario will be to kick up an email, which is just trying to do right now. Here we go. And here I am emailing uh, myself. <laughs> but it just demonstrates the uh, the use of the hyperlink and how we can add them to our user forms in Excel VBA. Thank you for watching. Please check out some of our other tips at Computer Gaga. 